have ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and I'm not allowed to travel whilst I'm on treatment. So when I found out I was going to come to Florida, I felt so happy. Where are you going? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so excited for Destination Florida. It was like, it, it was short until obviously like the meeting, but then it like really sunk in. Is going to Florida. On the 8th of September 2023 at 6.30am, 74 super excited, very important children arrived at Manchester Airport to go with Destination Florida Children's Charity on the holiday of a lifetime. But what makes this trip extra special is the incredibly inspiring collection of young people who are living with severe health problems. We'll follow the journey of what happened on this magical trip through the eyes of the children and the volunteers who, without them, none of this would be possible. Hi, I'm Rihanna Netherton. I am one of the paediatric doctors working in the northwest of England and I come as a medical volunteer on the Destination for Florida trip. So Destination Florida is an amazing charity that gives children with life-limiting or life-threatening illnesses a chance of a lifetime to come away to Florida and experience something that maybe they wouldn't have the opportunity to without the medical support of the team, the nurses, the uh, physios that we have on the trip. Destination Florida's team is made up of 110 medical, nursing, physiotherapy and non-medical volunteers all dedicating their time to ensure that these remarkable kids have an unforgettable experience whilst not having to worry about their medical conditions. When we get those applications through, we as an organisation have to look at those children and if we don't have that equipment, if we don't have that infrastructure or those bodies, we make sure that we go out and source them. Yes, we appreciate these children need care, they need some treatment while they're here, but we want to try and breeze over that. And what we actually want to do is give them this week trying to forget about all those ailments and problems and just enjoy a week in the amazing sunshine state of Florida. So I'm Simon, I'm the lead nurse for Blue Group um, for Destination Florida Trip 2023. If we take children who often in their lives are told, no, you can't do that because of your health problem. No, you can't go and do the, the things that your friends are doing um, and we say to them we want to take you to Florida we want you to have the best week of your life and we want you to just do everything that everyone else does and not have to worry about your health condition as well as the trip giving children a chance to grow their independence and enjoy being young it also offers a week of respite for their parents at home knowing their children are in safe hands with fantastic volunteers we get to um, bring away some amazing children. One of the children that's had a massive impact on me is Madison. Madison was born with a condition that meant that her heart was effectively plumbed the wrong way around, so she's had to have lots of operations to correct that. Um, not only that, she's also deaf um, and she had to be ventilated with a tracheostomy 24-7 for the first seven years of her life. And then gradually she's managed to wean off the ventilation. And thankfully, actually, four weeks before we came on the trip, she stopped using her ventilation altogether. Is this your first time on the plane? Now, despite the fact Madison's had all these health problems and she can't communicate effectively because she's deaf, she is the most caring young person. She is making sure all the other children are okay all the time. She's using her communication aids to let us know that other children are feeling sad or feeling unwell. She's just so inspirational and she constantly just smiles and brightens up the room. Um, and despite all the things she's got going on with her life, she just wants to make sure everyone else is happy.
So my name's Adam Nichols, I'm the medical lead for Destination Florida. In terms of the children that we take, um, we provide every bit of medical equipment that they need and essentially my limiting factor is if we can't get them insured. We'll try and take as many even really significantly complex children as we can. Uh, so we make sure that we have all of the equipment that they need, um, so that's like either either bring it over with us from the UK or sometimes we'll have it flown from within the US to make sure that we've got it here on site. Over the years we've brought dialysis, uh, intravenous therapies, we've brought TPN, we, we've got children on ventilators. We essentially turn a pretty big uh, hotel into quite a small hospital for that period of time. But we also have to prepare for the fact that these are often quite complex kids and they have, they have a risk of becoming unwell. So we also have a significant side to our work that is making sure that we have everything ready if there is a medical emergency. In view of that, we've got all of the equipment that we want uh, and we have a team of people that are on call day and night. And we make sure that when we're in the parks, if anything happens, uh, we are equipped to be able to deal with that. And that also involves work with our partner hospital while we're out here, so the Arnold Palmer, which is a massive children's hospital and one of the best in the world. Uh, we've got a brilliant working relationship with them, so if we do have any problems, our kids can go there and get, can get looked after by their team. I was really excited. It's, uh, I've never been to America, I've never really left the country. I never expected I could go to Florida because of my heart condition, so this has been like, relieving and nice to, to do. Hello, my name's Sam Smith. I'm 16 and I'm in Green Group. I had two heart transplants and a kidney transplant. Uh, my first heart, I had multiple VSDs, I had plastic left heart and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, after the transplant, it really mentally drained. And after my first one, it sunk me into a deep depression because I felt like I took somebody's life away. It's hard, but you have to get used to it because otherwise you can't, it'll just beat you down for the rest of your life. At Magic Kingdom, I got rushed to hospital in an ambulance for a suspected heart attack. I don't really remember much of it because uh, I passed out, I blacked out. And I came round when we was in hospital with Dr Adam and Natalie with me in A&E. In &E. So I, f I felt comfortable because Natalie was there and Dr Adam obviously knows what he's doing. He's a, really, he's a really nice man. The absolute massive highlight was uh, this boy over here. Yes. Come here. Yes. Come here, Sam. Yes. <laughs> absolute legend. This is Sam. Hello. On the trip, I felt like I felt like Sam instead of just the little boy who had had a, two heart transplants and a kidney, who everybody mollycoddled. I'm going to miss it. I am going to really miss it, but I'm going to volunteer for in five years, so, and because it's just nice to see all the kids smiling. My friends, I, I don't know the words. So when I came here with the charity as a 13 year old, it was really nice to just be allowed to be a kid. So my name's Hannah, I'm a non-medical volunteer for Red Group. When you're a child with chronic illness or, or you're a child with like, lifelong illnesses, you often get like wrapped in bubble wrap. You don't get treated the same way other kids do. The trip changed my life because it gave me a sense of independence that I'd never really had before. It's like just have the most amazing time, literally the holiday of a lifetime. And then have somebody else remove that worry and remove that fear that you have around your illness, knowing that somebody else completely has that in their hands and is completely responsible for it and you don't have to think about it or worry about it was just a really liberating experience for me and I think that's just something that's always stuck with me all these years um, and so I really wanted to be able to do that for other people. The trip will help the children with their confidence in carrying it on to their future lives. Hi I'm Mandy Dunbar, I'm a volunteer and group leader and physiotherapist with Blue Group. Having that life dominating problem and can really limit people's so thought in terms of what they can achieve and where can they can go. This has the impact of those children seeing actually look at what I could do and it's that after every ride, look you achieved that, you conquered that, think about everything else that you can do. But when you see the transformation that that's made for them, it's beyond measure.
gives them a chance to have a little bit of race mess play, meet other children that they maybe wouldn't meet in a normal setting and actually feel a bit more like a, a child rather than feeling a bit more like a patient. So we do everything to make sure that they get that amazing experience. Ready? Yeah. Well, I like a great example of never underestimating someone and never knowing what's going on in their life until you meet them first and seeing them in their own environment is um, an amazing boy called Alex, which he's a young boy with cerebral palsy who um, has a lot of problems with his sort of muscle control. So he does a lot of things with his feet that you wouldn't necessarily think that you would be able to. So he can text with his feet, he sends pictures, he can do, you know, whatever he wants to do on his phone. It's just really amazing. All right, we are part of it. It has, has me one. My name is Frogan P. I was 15 and from Green Group. I will miss it because of Sam and Meg and Elle. They treated me as if I was a little brother. All of them. It's like the best trip of your life. Meet some brilliant people. And to feel what's happened in one week, as in like friendship, courage, bravery, every word that you can think of like, along that line that can happen in one week. We can learn so much as adults from these children. These kids could rule the world in my life. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss them all. And now I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> It really is just seeing every single child from out of the shells are just develop into fantastic characters. Twenty twenty three was another special year for Destination Florida. Over the last thirty years, we have taken over one thousand two hundred children on this life changing trip, making the most unforgettable memories. A trip like this doesn't come easy costing over £600,000 and is only possible with your help. You can be a part of it by donating here. See how your money can change lives and make dreams come true. Thank you for your support. It's a great team of people, the, the trustees, the carers, the leaders, the team leaders, everybody who gets involved, uh, the medical staff are amazing. It represents a family as well as a charity.